Thank you. Hi, everyone. Yes, I'm going to talk about uh, CVCRM, which is an open source uh, content contact management system. And I'm going to talk about the common goals of the NGOs and uh, the free software. So let's start with this product. What do they have in common? What is common between a cleaning product, between a coffee, between a windmill, a metro pass? You have choice. When you buy as a user, as a consumer, you have choice. You have different type of cleaning products. And some of these choices are value based. You can decide that you want a coffee or you want a, a fair trade coffee, that you want a cleaning product for an eco uh, product, uh, that you want green electricity, and, uh, and so on. And obviously, for software, that's the same. You can have commercial, closed source, or open source uh, software. And all this choice and all these uh, values have been taken into account by the NGO, by the civil society. Uh, and very early on, they did have values as one of their criteria. And they were among the first to, as consumers, uh, buy fair trade product, uh, trying to have clean environment, to have uh, uh, recycling, and so on. And because they know that how you spend your money, how as a consumer you behave, helps to shape the world. And of course, open source has the same approach, the same value. And the problem is that these software values that we understand here, but that not that well perceived, that well understood by the NGOs as consumers. For most of the NGOs, more of the, the policy officers in the NGOs, Software is something dirty, that's oily, that's an engine, that's something gluey. You're not interested by software. And they don't care about the source code because they will never use it. And our job is to explain that software has values, and the values that you find in the free software about being able to access the source code, about the freedom, about uh, all the education you have about all the collaboration, about all the sharing we have in our work in the open source world is, are the same values as the values they promote and they try as a consumer to apply to the product they buy. So we have to explain them that they are developers inside, they are humans behind the, the software they use. Of course, that's not the only criteria. The value is not the only criteria they use. And they would buy fair trade coffee, but it has to be drinkable. And the soap uh, should clean, and the software should work. That's something that we probably lose as a focus, saying that for them and for most of the people, the software isn't an end by itself. That's only a mean, that's a tool to a different end, to a broader end. And Obviously, the criteria are security, and here open source is usually better, and uh, cost, and uh, the value I just mentioned that are more aligned with the values. And some, we are not quite there about usability, about compatibility. One thing that I think we have a big advantage is the fitness to the need. Because free software can be tailored, because free software can focus on a smaller need, we can have exactly the software they need. What do they need? Most of the things an um, NGO will use, that's the same software than a company. A content management system is not that different if it's for an NGO or for a company or for a university. The office suite is uh, the, the, the same, the open source system is the same. However, NGOs have specific needs. Campaigning is something specific NGO. Fundraising is something specific NGO. And uh, what we are going to talk about now is uh, the contact databases. The CRM is something different uh, because NGOs are not here to sell products. They are here to sell ideas. Uh, and the, the way they work is usually different as a company. There is a lot of collaborative work, a lot of volunteers that come in, that come out, part-time workers. And so having, uh, like CVCRM, 
a shared contact database obviously makes sense. So when someone leaves the organization, the contacts, the network, the history stays within the organization. And because they have a few IT skills inside and they are often outside or working remotely, having something that is online and that is browser-based as CVCRM makes sense. As for the features, because that's not for profit, that's not about selling products, sales cycles, prospects, and so on. That's about managing events. So CVCRM let people register to events, get the list of participants, take care of all that part. That's about emailing, sending newsletter. That's about donation, raising money, paying online. That's about managing their membership, paying online the membership fees, and plenty more features that are tailored specifically for the NGO needs. For us, uh, we were discussing yesterday about what is really exciting on CVCRM for uh, the, the developers. Well, first, that's easy to integrate. Uh, it works as a module for both uh, Joomla and uh, Drupal, or there is a uh, standalone version that works using OpenID. Um, one of the big strengths of CVCRM is uh, the community. That's, and I've been working on several open source uh, projects. That's a very alive and very friendly community, very open to external com uh, contributors. That's easy to use and uh, hack uh, with a public API, nice recent interface, uh, and that's easy to change the, the template and change the, the layout. Quickly mentioning some uh, known uh, NGO users, and we have several thousands uh, um, users of uh, CVCRM. And uh, the Free Software Foundation last year was looking for uh, part of one of their high priority projects for a donor tran uh, transaction and a contact database. And CVCRM has been the project that they chose. To come back to the initial point about civil society and the free software, the status quo saying that they don't use open source project is not acceptable. The good news is that the change is possible. However, the change won't happen by itself. We need to, to work on that to explain the values, the common values between the NGO world and the free software world. We obviously have to make the software work. And because, again, the software is not an end for themselves, that's a tool. So it has to work and do what they need and focus less when we present the software uh, about technology or uh, all the IT things they don't care. Focus more on helping them do what they do and um, focus on the values. And I think that with, with that, we can, the NGO world, the free software world, change the world and do that together. I've finished. If you have questions or if you want to know more online, Tomorrow, with uh, some colleagues, some of the core developers from uh, Poland, some people from the community, we are going to organize on Monday and Tuesdays two-day uh, trainings. Uh, and uh, you can mail me if you have any questions. That's it.